Welcome to NM Serena. In this video, we are going to discuss geometric progression. A series is said to be in geometric progression if every term of that series is obtained by multiplying the previous term by a constant number. And that constant number is called common ratio. And that common ratio is denoted by R. For example, if the series is 4, 8, 16, dash, in this case, let us see what is the R. R can be obtained as second term divided by the first term. The second term here is 8 and the first term is 4. So, 8 divided by 4, that is 2. Thus, we can understand that first term into 2 is the second term. 4 into 2 is 8. And then 8 into 2 is 16. That series is moving like that. That each term is multiplied by the R to get the next term. If a series is going in this form, such a series is said to be in geometric progression. There are types of geometric progression. The first is the case when the common ratio is positive and less than 1. In this case, this is a decreasing GP or a decreasing geometric progression. Let us take an example. In this case, 4, 2, 1, half, it is decreasing and the R is 1 by 2. It is positive. The common ratio is positive, but it is less than 1. It is 1 by 2, or we can say it is 0 0.5. Anyway, it is less than 1. In this case, the numbers goes on decreasing. 4 becomes 2, that 2 becomes 1. Like that, it is decreasing. The second case is when the common ratio is positive and greater than 1. Here, the geometric progression is increasing. So, it is an increasing GP. Let us take an example. 3, 6, 12, 24, dash. Here, the R is 2. It is positive and greater than 1. So, 3 into 2 is 6. 6 into 2 is 12. 12 into 2 is 24. This series is going on increasing. Thus, it is an increasing geometric progression. Now let us see how to find the nth term if a series is in geometric progression. The formula to be used here is Tn is equal to A into R raised to N minus 1. The N is the number of terms in the series. A is the first term in the series and R is the common ratio. Now using this formula let us try to solve a problem. The question is to find the 12th term of the series 2, 6, 18, 54, dash. Now here all the values required for using in the formula is clearly given. A is 2. R we can find by dividing the second term with the first term. And n is given as 12. So, a is 2. r is equal to 6 divided by 2 that is 3. And we can apply it in the formula. t12 is equal to 2 into 3 raised to 12 minus 1. 3 into 12 minus 1 means that is 2 into 3 raised to 11. 12 minus 1 becomes 11. So, 2 into 3 raised to 11, it will give 2 into 1,77,147. And the final answer is 3,54,294. And now, if we are asked to find the nth term of a series, let us take the same series, 2, 6, 18 and 54. We can know that A is 2. 
and r is the same 6 divided by 2 that is 3 now we can apply the formula tn is equal to 2 into 3 raised to n minus 1 n is unknown so we have to put that n like that 2 into 3 raised to n minus 1 we have to stop there because we cannot proceed further without getting this n so this is the answer if we are asked to find the nth term of a series but if the n is given clearly then it is easy for us to do let us take an example find the 15th term of the series 3 minus 6 12 minus 24 dash here a is given as 3 and r is minus 6 divided by 3 that is equal to minus 2 so we can understand that this is a different type of a series because r is minus 2 in this case from watching the series we can understand that the first term is positive second one is negative third one is positive in this form this geometric progression is proceeding now we have to find the 15th term so formula is t15 is equal to 3 into minus 2 raised to n minus 1 that is 15 minus 1 so n is 15 that is why we are applying the formula as this 3 into minus 2 raised to 14 that is 15 minus 1 that will give us 3 into 16384 and the 15th term of this series will be 49152 and now we can try to solve different type of a question here the question is which term of this series the series is 2 1 1 by 2 dash which term of this series is 1 by 2048 so what are we asked to find a is given as 2 r is 1 divided by 2 that is 1 by 2 or 0 0.5 and tn or the nth term is 1 divided by 2048 so n is unknown we have to find the value of n now we can apply the formula the same formula to find the nth term tn is equal to a into r raised to n minus 1 and we can apply the values in this formula a is 2 and then r is 1 by 2 n is unknown hence n is kept as such so n minus 1 is kept as such as in the formula now this is equal to tn tn is 1 by 2048 next step is 1 by 2 raised to n minus 1 is equal to 1 by 2048 into 1 by 2 this 2 is taken to the other side when into 2 is taken to the other side that becomes into 1 by 2 so 1 by 2048 into 1 by 2 will give us 1 by 4096 that means 1 by 2 raised to n minus 1 is equal to 1 by 4096 so it is understood from this that 1 by 2 raised to something is 1 by 4096 thus we can try to find whether this 4096 is divisible by 2 let us do that division now see in this case 4096 is divided by 2 we get 2048 again we can divide it by 2 we will get 1024 again we can divide it by 2 we get 512 again dividing by 2 it is 256 once again divide by 2 128 again on dividing by 2 64 divide by 2 32 32 is divided by 2 16 16 by 2 is 8 8 by 2 is 4 and 4 by 2 is 
2. So see how many times it has been divided by 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 2 raised to 12 is equal to 4096. 4096 is equal to 2 raised to 12. So 1 by 4096 will be equal to 1 by 2 raised to 12. And that can also be written as 1 by 2 whole raised to 12. So 1 by 4096 is equal to 1 by 2 the whole raised to 12. Now we can apply that value in this problem. 1 by 4096 is equal to 1 by 2 the whole raised to 12. And that is equal to 1 by 2 the whole raised to n minus 1. See, 1 by 2 the whole raised to n minus 1 is equal to 1 by 2 the whole raised to 12. Thus, 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 is same. So, 12 must be equal to n minus 1. Since this is same, the power should also be equal. 12 should also be equal to n minus 1. Thus, 12 is equal to n minus 1. n is equal to 12 plus 1 by taking this minus 1 to the other side and adding with 12. n is equal to 12 plus 1. That means n is equal to 13. So, nth term of the series is 13. Or the 13th term of this series is 1 divided by 2048. This is the answer for this question. And now we can solve another question. The question is if the 5th term and the 10th term of a GP are 32 and 1024 respectively, find the first term and the common ratio. How to find the first term and the common ratio when the fifth and the tenth term or when two terms of a GP are only given? Let us try doing that. Here, T5 is 32. So, by applying in the equation to find the nth term, Tn is equal to A into R raised to N minus 1. We can apply this value there. A into R raised to 5 minus 1 is equal to 32. This is given in the question. So, A into R raised to 4 is equal to 32. This 5 minus 1 is 4. So, A into R raised to 4 is equal to 32. Now, the second term given in the question is the 10th term. That is, T10 is equal to 1024. Applying the same in the formula, A into R raised to 10 minus 1 is equal to 1024. That means, a into R raised to 9 is equal to 1024. We get two equations. The first equation is A into R raised to 4 is equal to 32. And this is the second equation. A R raised to 9 is equal to 1024. Since this is the bigger equation or the greatest number. When compared to this one, we can take this one as the numerator and try dividing it. This equation can be divided by this equation. Since this is the greater values, we can keep it as the numerator and since this has got the lesser values when compared to this one, we can keep this one as the denominator. So, the first equation divided by the second equation. A into R raised to 9 divided by A into R raised to 4. Left hand side of this equation and left hand side of this equation is given here. Left hand side of this second equation divided by left hand side of the first equation. That is this. Right hand side of this equation divided by right hand side of this equation is this. Now, this A and A gets cancelled. And the R. There are 4 R's in the denominator and 9 R's in the numerator. So, we can take away the 4 R's from this 9. R raised to 4. So, that is taken away from the denominator and 
four R's are taken from the numerator and that becomes R raised to five. Here it is R raised to zero. That means it is one. And here R raised to five. And then we can divide this 1024 by the 32. 32 into 32 is 1024. So here the remaining is R raised to 5 is equal to 32. R raised to 5 is equal to 32. Here R raised to 0 will be 1. So the denominator here is 1. No need of uh, considering that. So R raised to 5 is equal to 32. R raised to 5 is equal to 2 raised to 5. 32 is 5 times 2. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. We can divide this, uh, this 32 by 2 just like what we have done in the previous question. So when 5 is same, see here also the 5 is same, the power is same. So R must be also be same. Therefore R is equal to 2. Here we got the common ratio R is 2. Now we have to find the first term by applying in the formula. So 32 is equal to A into R raised to 4. Any one of the formulas we can take since this is having uh, smaller values we can consider this formula. 32 is equal to A into R raised to 4. Since R is 2 we can write it as 32 is equal to A into 2 raised to 4. Now, 32 is equal to A into 16. 2 raised to 4 is 16. Then, keeping A as such, we can take 16 to this side and divide it. 32 divided by 16 is equal to A. And that will give us the value of A, which is 2. So, for this question, the first term is 2 and the common ratio R is also 2. That is how we find the first term and the common ratio when two terms of a geometric progression is given. So that's all about finding the nth term of a geometric progression. Now finding the sum of n terms of a geometric progression is discussed in another video. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe the channel.